In our farmlands and fisheries, we still see farmers using traditional manual way of carrying out the routine activities. For example, in agriculture sector, fertilizer dispersal process is a key activity, but farmers use bare hands, which is a traditional way of uh, the dispersal of fertilizer. So this leads to non-uniform distribution of uh, the fertilizer in the land. And uh, in turn, this uh, leads to the damage of the crop as well as the wastage of the fertilizer. At the same time, if we see the key activities, uh, female farmers from the farmers' families, they are mainly involved in carrying out the key activities in the farmland. And uh, it becomes very cumbersome for uh, female farmers to carry such a huge load to carry out the dispersal process. And at the same time, it involves a lot of drudgery also. Secondly, if we go to the fishery sector, fishery and the prawn farming sector, we need to have proper ecosystem maintained for the proper growth of fish and prawn stock. But this is still done manually by the farmers. So what happens is this leads to non-uniform distribution of dissolved oxygen level in the pond. And as well as the pH level is also not maintained in the required range. At the same time, uh, the manual processes also lead to non-uniform distribution of the feed in the entire pond area. So all these uh, lead to uh, the non-uniform distribution of uh, what is needed to maintain an ecosystem, proper ecosystem for uh, the fish and the prawn stock. So this leads to a high risk of morbidity and uh, mortality in the stock and farmers do suffer always. Thinkro India Private Limited is a women-led enterprise and we have created solar power solutions for agriculture and aquaculture sectors. Our first product, Krishi Dhanu, which is for uh, agriculture sector. It's a solar powered portable device which, can, which helps in the uniform distribution of the fertilizer. So farmers can easily carry it on their backs and uh, carry out a solid form fit, uh, fertilizer dispersal process, uh, be it organic or inorganic. So this leads uh, to the increase in the revenue for a farmer. A uh, second uh, product that we have created uh, is for the aquaculture sector. It's a solar power integrated floatable solution which helps in the uniform distribution of dissolved oxygen level. It helps in maintaining the pH level at the required range so that uh, uh, we can have achieved the right ecosystem which is needed for the proper growth of fish and prawn stock. It also helps in the uniform distribution of feed which is also key task for uh, for the farming, the for fish and the prawn farming. So these solutions, both of these solutions aim at increasing the harvest for a farmer for both quality and the quantity wise, which again lead to uh, the enhanced revenue for a farmer. The second objective that we are trying to achieve these, through these two products are uh, that we have uh, made it automatic. So it becomes very simple for even female entrepreneurs to uh, enter the sector through our using our product. So we want to promote the female entrepreneurship in these two areas. Thirdly, uh, we see that in many states of our country, uh, availability of human labor to work in the farm and the fishery sector, it's, uh, it's a major issue. So people are not available. Through our solution, which is an automatic solution, it actually reduces the dependency on the skill set and the human labor by 30 to 40 percent. And uh, to summarize it all, it's uh, again these solutions are solar powered. So we these are the clean energy solutions. We are, so we are trying to give it back to the Mother Earth uh, because of what you know we are using the soil to produce. So it's our way to give it back to the Mother Earth. Now talking about the challenges that we faced after we created the solution. Firstly, uh, we had a challenge of uh, getting the validation testing done. Even though we spoke to around 150 farmers uh, when we conceptualized on the idea and uh, tried to develop the prototype, but we needed right connects at the farmers level so that we can carry out the proper field testing for the validation of our product. Secondly, uh, as well as the fund issue, because we wanted uh, grants and funds so that we can develop the prototype and the MPV version of our solutions. So that's where, uh, that's the time, maybe the right time where we got incubated by uh, Selco Foundation. So Selco Foundation literally handheld us uh, and helped us throughout, in, throughout the journey. Firstly, for the validation testing, they have connected us to the farmers, many FPO groups. Uh, in Orissa, there are two places, Koraput area and uh, Kanthamara district area and also Kalahandi area. 
where we are now connected to the farmers and we are we have deployed the products the prototype and the interview versions so the field testing is being done and that's a very very big thing that uh, and big support that we have got from Selco Foundation secondly about the grants and the funds uh, yes Selco Foundation has uh, supported us with funds also so with their help we are able to develop uh, the prototype and the MPV versions of both the solutions which are being tested as we speak we are currently developing the minimum viable product version of both the solutions Krishidhanu, the solution for agriculture sector and Dhivaramitra which is a solution for aquaculture sector so firstly once once we are ready with the product and we complete the field validation testing we plan to launch both our solutions this year in 2022 but we would definitely do it in a phase wise manner so first uh, we will launch Krishidhanu, the solution for agriculture sector and second, we will go to the Dhivaramitra solution, which is a solution for aquaculture sector. So that we will launch towards the end of this year. At the same time, we also plan to develop and set up a production unit in Kalahandi district of Orissa. That will be a production unit as well as an assembly unit where we can build both the solutions and reach far and wide.